Hello everyone, Michael May with the Michael May Real Estate Group here in my mobile office. Uh, a client of ours uh, sent us a couple of questions and I'd like to go over those with you. It's about uh, you know the buyer contingencies and also the initial deposit. Uh, the first question he asked is, uh, what is a buyer contingency? And a buyer contingency is basically an out. Um, it's a contingency that you have contingent upon the purchase of the property. Uh, common contingencies are your loan contingency, an appraisal contingency, and buyer inspections contingency. So for example, uh, you will purchase the property contingent upon you obtaining a loan. You will purchase the property contingent upon the house appraising at the purchase price. And you'll also purchase the property contingent upon buyer inspections. The house doesn't have a hole in the roof, it doesn't have mold, etc. So that's kind of what a buyer contingency is. And the second question he asks is, does a contingency have to be removed in writing? And yes, uh, per the California Association of Realtor Purchase Agreement, a contingency has to be removed in writing and they use what they call a contingency removal form. It's a CAR form CR. And uh, if you don't remove the contingency in writing, then the contingency continues. So uh, that's an option that you have. Um, you don't have to remove the contingency. If your home didn't appraise for the purchase value, you don't have to remove the appraisal contingency. If you didn't get your loan or you lost your job, you do not have to remove the loan contingency. Or if you do find that there's mold in the property or there is uh, a hole in the roof or there's a crack in the foundation, you don't have to remove the buyer inspection contingencies, okay? So the third question that uh, our client asks is, if a buyer cancels the purchase, do they lose their deposit? Well, no, as long as the buyer uh, didn't remove that specific contingency. Um, the buyers, uh, if the buyer cancels a purchase um, in regards to a contingency that they didn't remove, for example, um, you didn't get the loan and you did not remove the loan contingency, then you can cancel on uh, the loan contingency because there's no, uh, you didn't remove the loan contingency. So the buyer would be able to retain uh, their deposit because the buyer still had the rights to cancel that contingency. Now, what if the, th the fourth question my client asks is, what if the seller cancels the purchase, does the seller get to keep the deposit? And the general answer is no, the seller doesn't get to keep the deposit because uh, if they cancel, after first having asked you to remove the contingency, and if you didn't do it and they cancel, then um, they cancel the purchase on the buyer, then, by the California Associated Realtors Purchase Agreement, if the seller cancels, then the seller is obligated to return the initial deposit back to the buyer. All right, if you have any questions, give me a call, 949-285-7818. Everyone have a great day. Bye.